Well, we have our rubric assessment created. Now to grade using it, or to be able to record those grades, we're going to go to activate, and we're going to use manual grading again, just like with the demo fill in the blank. And this is going to ask us to pick our class. And it's going to give us the same list as what we had before. So I would simply take the student sheet that's in front of me, and I would have these different categories. Now this also could be a interactive task, so whether you're a language teacher, you could actually have your conversation with them and have your different categories in front of them and score them as they're, they're interacting. But in this case, this was a, an assignment that they took home, brought back, and now I'm going to give them credit according to uh, whether or not they showed their work and whether or not they understand the logic and whether or not they um, complete the task. So I'm going to score this and with completes task, uh, give them a, th actually, I'll keep that as a three and I'll go to my next student. I'm going to score theirs. It shows work. Not very good. Definitely does not understand the logic and because of that did not complete the task. Then Shows work, understands logic, completes task. And as with most rubric style assessments, this one is probably going to take you a lot of time. Probably an essay, you're going to have to read a lot of responses and judge accordingly. So you're probably not going to be able to finish this in one sitting. So one of the options that you have, I can end this and create a report if I want and go back and reactivate it at any point to finish up. Or I can simply pause the session, and when it pauses, it'll take me back to my Lessons and Assessments tab. And you'll notice next to the Activate, there's actually a little number in the top right corner. That tells me the number of sessions that I have yet to complete for grading. So if I had, say, three classes that I had not graded yet, then and I had paused all three of those, those three would show, the number three would show up there. But for now, I only have one pause session. So if I go back into my manual grading, it's going to highlight that class that's unfinished. And I can go back in and finish grading. And you can key in your answers if you want. Um, Slider is pretty simple. So it's just really a matter of preference. And go through. I'll score the rest of these. And clearly, I'm not looking at the student sheet right now. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Yeah, so we have all of our students now graded. And one of the other neat things about the rubric of grading is that you don't actually have to do the computation for the 100 point scale, it'll automatically do it. So even if you have odd. Um, numbers for your rubric category. So maybe I allowed 13 points for one category and I had 20 for another and I had three for another. May not always uh, compute easily. It'll automatically give that student grade on a 100 point scale. So I'm going to end this and we will create our report for the rubric assessment.